What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. And today we got DeMarco Murray through the years. Now, I know I got to get the Byron Leftwich. I got to get the Asante Samuel. I got to get the Deion Sa There's a bunch of guys I got to get to, man. But for today, we got DeMarco Murray representing OU, those Cowboys, those Eagles, and, of course, those Tennessee Titans. Now, he is 89 overall as a redshirt freshman, 95 speed, 96 agility, 96 acceleration, 86 truck, 96 elusiveness, 92 ball carrier vision, 97 spin move. Now, when we look at his numbers for his freshman season, he carried the rock 127 times for 764 yards, averaging 6 yards per carry. He put up 13 TDs. He also caught 14 passes for 60 yards, and he had two kick return TDs as well. In a win versus Texas, he put up 17 carries for 128 yards and one touchy man he did his thing man let's move on to ncaa 09 where he comes in at 91 overall 93 speed 97 agility 95 acceleration 90 break tackle 95 elusiveness 96 spin move and he also comes in with a 95 juke move now demarco murray would rush the ball 179 times for 1002 yards he would average 5.6 yards per carry he ran for a career high at the time 14 tds and, of course, he caught 31 passes for 395 yards, plus four receiving touchdowns as well. Versus Texas Tech, he put up 18 carries for 125 yards, averaging 6.9 yards per carry that day. He also had two TDs on the ground, caught four passes for 71 yards as well. And check out the spin move. Oh, baby. That was like a crossover. Went this way, back that way. Let's move on to NCAA 2010. And as a junior... I thought that this might be his last season, but it wasn't. But he's 94 overall. He's a straight, straight beast. He's a straight beast in this game. 94 speed, 97 agility, 96 acceleration, 95 elusiveness. Also, he comes in with a 91 ball carrier vision, 96 spin move, and a 95 juke move. Every category that you want is in the 90s. Like, it's ridiculous. He would put up a grand total of 705 yards on 171 carries for his lowest average in college, which was 4.1 yards per carry. He also would just put up 8 TDs, which is the lowest in his college career. He would catch 41 passes, though, for 522 yards, plus 4 receiving TDs. And they win versus Baylor. He put up 107 yards on 24 carries, caught three passes for 36 yards, and even though he did not rush for a single yard versus Texas, he had five carries for negative three yards, he caught eight passes for a buck 16. That's still impressive, man. So he will come back for his red shirt senior season. So he's a fifth year senior at running back, man. That that's dangerous. And I know you gotta do what you gotta do. You didn't have the best junior season, so but I mean there's red shirt sophomores that come out, and you're a red shirt senior. So that to me that explains why he wanted so much money from the Cowboys, even though he only really had a couple of good seasons with them, because he probably knew in the back of his mind, I spent all these miles and and, and just and just wearing my body out in college. I gotta do something in the as far as monetizing my skills. Anyways, though, man, 95 overall, 82 speed, 97 agility, 96 acceleration, 95 elusiveness, 96 ball carrier vision, 96 spin move, and a 95 jug move. Now, he would run the ball 282 times for 1,214 yards, a career high, averaging 4.3 yards per carry, 15 TDs, which is his career best, 71 receptions for 594 yards, plus 5 TDs, all those are career best as well. Versus Utah, he carried the rock 35 times for 208 yards, averaging 5.9 yards per carry, and 2 TDs. He's 92 overall for his college career. And when we look at his career numbers, he ran for a grand total of 3,685 yards, averaging 4.9 yards per carry, 50 TDs, caught 157 passes for 1,571 yards, and 13 receiving TDs. He would be drafted in the third round, pick number 71 by those Dallas Cowboys. And as a rookie, he is 69 overall with 93 speed, 82 agility, 91 acceleration, 77 truck. Also comes in with a 78 ball carrier vision, 86 juke move, and a 74 carry for his rookie season he'll run the ball 164 times for 897 yards two tds his longest run of the year was the longest run of his career and was the longest run of that year for anybody 91 yarder and of course he averaged 5.5 yards per carry he also averaged 69 yards per game caught 26 passes for 180 yards versus st louis 25 carries 253 yards plus a touchdown man talk about breaking out 
in a major way. Let's move on to Madden 13. 83 overall, 94 speed, 87 agility, 93 acceleration, 88 truck, 89 ball carrier vision, 86 juke move, 87 carry as well for DeMarco Murray. Now he will run the ball 161 times for 663 yards, 4 TDs on the ground. His longest run of the season was 48 yards. He averaged 4.1 yards per carry, 66.3 yards per game. He also caught 35 passes for 251 yards. And a win versus those New York G-Men. He put up 20 carries for 131 yards. He also caught 2 passes for nine yards and then right here we give it to him breaking to the right side too much speed gets to the pylon and gets into the end zone touchdown cowboys so now you got des bryant on the outside got tony Rowan was still doing his thing and now demarco murray is slowly but surely becoming a solid running back so let's move on to Madden 25, he is 84 overall with 94 speed, 85 agility, 91 acceleration, 91 truck, 91 ball carry vision, 82 juke move, and an 89 carry. For this season, he will run the ball 217 times for 1,121 yards, 9 TDs. Longest run of the season for him was 43 yards. He would average 5.2 yards per carry, 80.1 yards per game. He caught 53 passes for 350 yards and a receiving TD, his first receiving TD of his career. And they win versus St. Louis. He loves playing those Rams, bro. 26 carries, 175 yards plus a touchdown and they win versus Oakland, he will put up three TDs. Three TDs versus those Raiders. And then right there, he takes the toss, and he is loose to the 20, gets to the sideline, and gets bumped out at the nine-yard line. But let's move on to Madden 15. Richard Sherman on the cover. He comes in at 89 overall. DeMarco Murray also has 94 speed, 91 acceleration, 93 truck. Look at the run right there. He's loose. And he's gone. 93 truck, like I said. 96 ball carrier vision. 89 stiff arm. Also comes in with an 80 joke and a 95 carry right now. This was the year that he set the world on fire with this play. He'll run the ball a career high and a league high 392 times for 1,845 yards, which was the best in the NFL that season, and 13 TDs, which also was the best in the NFL. So a triple crown, if you will. He would average a grand total of 4.7 yards per carry 115.3 yards per game which was the best his longest run of the season was 51 yards he also caught 57 passes for 416 yards which brings his all-purpose above 2000 and they went versus tennessee 29 carries 167 yards plus a touchdown and of course he would kick off the season with 100 yard games in the first eight games of the season for demarco Murray. so the man had a fantastic season and for whatever reason they just couldn't get to an agreement in Dallas, so he ends up playing for the Eagles. Man, 94 overall, though, with those Philadelphia Eagles, 89 speed, 91 acceleration, 96 truck, 97 elusiveness, 98 ball carry vision, 97 stiff form, and an 84 carry. Now, was I the only person I thought it was weird that Chip Kelly decided to bring Sam Bradford and DeMarco Murray into the fall at the same time like he was trying to create OU again? I don't know. I thought that was weird. I didn't think it was going to work, and it really didn't work. But anyways, man, his numbers for that season look like this. He only carried the Rock 193 times for 702 yards. He still had six TDs. Longest run of the season was 54 yards. He averaged 3.6 yards per carry, 46.8 yards per game, 44 receptions, 322 yards on those receptions, plus a receiving TD. And they win versus those Giants. DeMarco Murray rushed the ball 21 times for 112 yards. One TD and caught three passes for a grand total of 14 yards. Let's move on to his days with the Tennessee Titans. And Madden 17, he is 83 overall, 89 speed, 91 acceleration, 85 truck, 83 elusiveness, 86 ball carry vision, 87 stiff form, and an 82 jump. I'm still trying to figure out why his, his speed was so low in NCAA 11. I mean, he did have some injury issues in college, but 82 speed though? That, that's a little harsh. Anyways, man, I'm sorry. When we look at his real-life numbers, they look like this. He ran the ball a grand total of 293 times with those Tennessee Titans for 1,287 yards. Nine TDs. His longest run of the season was 75 yards. He also averaged 4.4 yards per carry, 80.4 yards per game. Caught 53 passes for 377 yards. Three receiving TDs. And a win versus Green Bay. 
17 carries, 123 yards, a touchdown, and he caught two passes for 33 yards. Let's move on to Madden 18. He is 89 overall, 89 speed, 91 acceleration, 87 truck, 83 elusiveness, 92 ball carry vision, 87 stiff arm, plus a 96 juke. He will run the ball 184 times for just 659 yards, which is the lowest of his career. He also ran the ball for six TDs. His longest run of the season was 75 yards. He averaged 3.6 yards per carry, 43.9 yards per game, and 39 receptions for 266 yards plus a receiving TD. Versus those Seattle Seahawks, he put up a grand total of 155 yards on 14 carries, 1 TD. He also caught one pass for 5 yards, and this was his only 100-yard game of the season. Now, when we add up all of his overalls and we divide it by the same number of games, we get 84.4 overall so far for his career in Madden. Now, right now, he's still a free agent. Maybe he'll get picked up by a team. Maybe go back to Tennessee. I don't know. But what I do know is that I owe you guys a bunch of players. And I have a special through the years coming soon. We got to expand this, what we're doing here. But until we meet again, my friends, peace, love, hustle. Check it. Uh. Every day we're getting it. Check it, uh, uh, put the place up, yeah we know what we're made of, can't get enough of you boo, I'm a chaser, face 